Today, where are we? We're in Shrewsbury. In Shrewsbury. We're back in Shrewsbury. This time we don't have to rush off. No, we don't. So we are back to do the filming locations of A Christmas Carol featuring George C. Scott. We did do the grave yep. last time, but we want to do the rest of the locations. Yeah. We have just passed his nephew's house on the way in, but that's right at the top of the hill, so we'll save that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's go. So, this location is just here. Baz is standing in for John because we need a tiny Tim, and John's not here. Yeah, you've got your knees. So, this here is Marley's office, Marley and Scrooge's office, rather. And if you look at that window there, that's the window he looks out from. Tiny Tim's waiting on the corner, just where Baz is behind that post. But they fil they must have filmed it from about here, because you can see them two windows there. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. Look back on this corner, boy. I'm not baking, sir. I'm baking the Christmas tree. Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. Tim Cratchit. I'm waiting for my father. Tim Cratchit. Well, then you'll have a long wait, won't you? Thank you, sir. Come back. So that will have been covered in snow and that is Scrooge's office but it wasn't filmed inside there that was done in a studio no, I don't in, uh, Studios. how cool awesome. so if you do try and find this location I'll just say that's the window I was looking out of and the little sign would have been hung there it's actually called Perch's house mm -hmm. We struggled to find this one, it took us about three goes, didn't it? We're on the same road, just walking up and down. But yeah, it's just by the high street. Near Mother Rubbids. Near Mother Rubbids, mm -hmm. aye. So where are we at now? At the Is it Corn or Corn? Corn. The Corn Exchange. So this is where Scrooge comes to the Corn Exchange. It's an old infirmary, apparently. Yeah. So out here you had the brass band playing. And you can see it's the same place because you've got these columns and then the windows match as well and also here is where they put patches of ice and the kids were slipping on the ice having a bit of fun as you do but yeah this is the next location the corn exchange. Cool, eh? So at the exchange as well, at the end of the film or towards the end, Scrooge meets the three men. Is it two or three men? I think it's three in it. And and says he will be giving a donation every year to the charity. And many more bed payments are included. I promise. So I think if we sneak down here, isn't it lovely? Yeah, it is. This is the the walkway where Scrooge pushes past the carol singers. Yeah. So, yeah. so he walks down and this is the alley where he walks up after just pushing past them. So let's have a walk to the top. And I think at the end this is the next one we're looking for. Obviously we're going to put pictures in as well to show you parts of the film. 
Yeah, this is it. This is where he is with Edward Woodward as the ghost of Christmas present, was it? Yeah. Oh. There she is. Look at her with the little bubble at her. She's so cute. <laughs> Look at her. Crazy. Look at her. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Vlogger in progress. Look at the phone. There you go, look. Yeah. That's that. But where? Yeah, because up there's that building. Yeah, so it's a bit further back. Yes, if we stand over here. Because I'll be stood here. You what? They'll be stood about here. It's a nice, a nice, look at the cones. <laughs> there you go. Round about. What day is it now? Don't you know? Christmas morning. There. Just like that, not like that, just like that. Yeah. Can't really see the house because of the sunlight. Yeah, so there's your corner one. Look, it's got the bricked up windows. Yeah. So the Christmas morning walk continues looking towards the high street on the square with the old market hall to the right. Yeah. And if you look at that one, you can see more of that building. Yeah, that's that building. I saw the walk in this one. Yeah. So as we walk in here, um, this is where they had the market, where they walk through. Which there we go. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely. There's something upstairs, but. Yeah. Tina again. And the tree. Cool, isn't it? To be here. We've just watched it as well. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Beautiful. We've just stumbled across this little alley there. Looks so cool. So it's something from Harry Potter. Well, it's attached to this pub. So we're now going to hopefully find Bob Cratchit's house. There's so many lovely shops here. Really recommend coming. It's a beautiful place, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a lot of things filmed here as well. What's the new, the latest one, is it Great Expectations? Yeah. Then they've had a prison series filmed here. But it's a lovely place. Oh, it's here in fact. That's Bob Cratchit's house. So there's Bear Steps. We came the other way. This is Bob's house that they visit with good old Edward Woodward with his chest exposed. Yeah. Twisty's own champ. <laughs> Stand outside Bob Cratchit, see if you're uh, taller than the door. Baz was just saying that he likes this little alley, but there's loads of little alleys around here, isn't there? Yeah. Loads of nice little shops. I mean, look at that. Oh yeah, because in the film, this was covered. So we'll show you with the pictures, but if we stand in the corner, 
Ooh, we'll have to have a little walk up there. Yes, yeah, so you sit like about here. Yeah. And this is covered. Yeah, but isn't it beautiful? So there you are, Bob Cratchit's house. So we've just come to the top of the uh, the bear stairs just because it's so beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. That's St Julian's Church there. Right, let's go down the stairs. Wonder how many people have walked down here. And if you do come, be careful because it's uneven. Da da, Bob Cratchit. So we hope you're enjoying this little filming location. It's a beautiful town. You should really yeah. come here. We're loving it. It's it? gorgeous. So yeah, we're going to move on to the next location. So we're just walking to uh, the next location, and Baz stopped to look at this. Nineteen or something. Isn't it beautiful? And it's actually a boots. <laughs> yeah, it's a beach. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. This town just oozes history. Is it a bat? Look at that on the corner of this building. Put in mind, it's a beautiful building. It is. I'm a bit too close to get it all in. Look at this. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. We shall continue on our way. Look at that building right at the end of the road, wait till we walk down yeah. and you can see how uneven it is. Yeah. So sweet. Race. Right, so we'll just pass this van. I'll tell you what I like about this place. What do you like? No matter about? where you look, down all the little alleys and stuff like that, there's always like a little shop or a little cafe or something. I know, it's so sweet. Look at this building here, now you can see how uneven it is. That is so sweet. <laughs> I'm going to go to the other side and uh, show you, or oh, get in the road. No, don't get in the road, it's a piece of door. <laughs> how small the door is. I absolutely love that. So this is Scrooge's house. Not only do you see the little wagon from the exchange go, but when he's walking back to his house, they use this part and they put some like little buildings on the left hand side of the road here. And then he enters that gate, and I'm sure that gate is the original gate from the film. But how amazing is that? So we think this is the original gate from the film. Because if you look at it, it's the same. And then on Christmas morning, Scrooge leans out of that window saying, what day is it, good boy, or fine boy? Hello, you that boy? Me, sir? Yes, you, my good fella. What day is today? So Scrooge leans out of that window and he says to the boy, is that prize turkey still in the butcher's window? Do you know if they sold the prize turkey that was hanging there? The one as big as me? And then he meets the butcher and the little boy on the doorstep with the turkey yeah. for Bob. Do you wish to purchase this turkey yet? It is quite right. Here's your half crown for 
the surface when Thank you, sir. No, we're going because it's private property, but yeah, it's from the house. Look at that! How cool! Awesome. And then we cross the road a minute. So in the film as well, you see a merchant leave outside here on his cart. But there is Scrooge's house. Awesome. So just think, Marley appeared on that door. Scrooge. And then straight opposite here, if we show you this it's path. Me. Hello. <laughs> it's you. It's me. <laughs> I'm going to show you this path here. I've been in the film <laughs> So this path was also used. This showed you Scrooge walking home. Obviously there's railings down here and down here, but the railings have gone. Yeah. But you can still see where they were. All there. So George C. Scott walks this way and right across is his house. Walk down path like Scrooge, come on. Oh. Use this part as well for his walk home. It's absolutely beautiful place. Gorgeous. We're just going to have a little break. We're going to have uh, something to eat at one of our favourite places, Hickory's. It's um, an American steakhouse, but they do some good popcorn. Yeah, yeah. No, Look at it. Beautiful. So we are seated. Here's the menu. They always have paper menus like newspapers. But the food is amazing. They've got a little fire pit there. Can you see it? We've got telly. Yeah, because it's so cold today. Cheers. Yeah, guys. Mm. So I have the cherry soda and you have the grape soda. Yeah. How good are they? I have half the grape soda. Probably. So good. Mm -mm. So the food's here. I've got my mac and cheese, which I always seem to go for. Baz has got the chicken fajitas. They look really good. Mm, we're gonna tuck in. So Baza's just got the milkshake. Tina's gonna try it and see. Nice. What is it? Apple and blueberry pie. Dog says blueberry. Mm. Do you want me to wait for? No, you have, you have your way. So we've just got some churros to share with some chocolate sauce. But then they've brought me this out as well. Ooh. Oh, isn't that nice? That's lovely, that. How's your milkshake? Yeah, we got So this is Hickory's absolutely beautiful decor. And the staff here absolutely lovely really really recommend going and they sell hot sauces barbecue sauces i just love the theming i mean look at this out here look at that how cute and she gave us popcorn <laughs> two bags two bags <laughs> so we are out of hickories very full fed and watered <laughs> Now we've just had to walk up a really big hill yep. to do the last two locations. Guys, all I can say to people who are concerned, she's got steps in today. <laughs> <laughs> so the next location is just here. It's 
So it's this house on the corner and this is the house of Ebenezer's nephew. And you see him at the end of the film. Good day, nephew. Um, yeah, you see him at the see him at the end of the film. Um, turn up for Christmas dinner. And then you actually see a shot from inside, looking out as well. So possibly, maybe the interior was filmed there not 100 percent but this is the crescent 1793 the crescent there we go now on to the most memorable part the oh, grave, what? The grave. Mm -hmm. should we go to the grave let's go to the grave the grave isn't actually far from no. his nephew's house picked a good day to do this yeah maybe cold but it's yeah, a lovely day. It? Yeah, it's warmed up a lot. So we're coming up to Set Chad's church. Yes. Yeah. Ugh, van. Oh, we, could have made, could have we could have, but we're messing. Let's let this go. Houses here are so lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Lovely they are. Lovely. 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 Right. Yeah. So, set church church. Look at this sand, we know where it is, so yeah. we can just go to it. And it's really easy to find once you know. Once you know. Once you know. You know. <laughs> so if you go to the front and then to the right here, it's a gate. We met a woman, didn't we, last time? And she lived here when yeah. you're filming it. And she said they sprayed everywhere with snow. The only thing that's weird about this graveyard is if you look on the path, there's gravestones, which means you're actually walking over people's graves. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Bizarre. And this grave is probably the most visited grave yeah. at the entire graveyard. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Look at it. It's lovely. Go it, you can't miss it because it's a well worn path. Yeah, and here is the grave. The grave, what Scrooge visited with Christmas. Future. Yeah, Christmas yet to come. What about parting his day? I know it, but I know not how. Tell me, what man was that who was so lying dead? <laughs> And it's still here today. Yeah. Crazy though, because I wonder who actually is under there. You can sort of see some markings there. See, it, it was a grave, and I think this. What I've read is the gravestone was so well worn that well, that's see. why they used it. Because if you can see, yeah, uh, there's some. There are some markings on it, but... It's just... you can't even read it. No. So yeah, that's why they picked this one. Don't know if you'd get away with that nowadays. Uh-huh. But not. It's, it's a good thing you to see, and this person gets a lot of visitors. <laughs> <laughs> but it is quite a busy cemetery. A lot of graves, a lot of big graves. 
but this is where the film ends. Yeah. With well, Ebenezer there. Scraping away the snow. Going it cannot be. So this is the cat that guards the graves. By the looks of it. Here he comes. Yeah, yeah, Villa. Hello. Ah. Also as well, if you come in the other side. There's a little gateway there where you can yeah. get in and it's just in over the far side of the graveyard. There is the vlog of the filming locations of A Christmas Carol featuring yep. George C. Scott in Shrewsbury. We haven't done all of them because some are filmed in a park a bit away from here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously all your internal shots were done in studios yeah. and things like that. So but the majority of it was filmed here. Yeah. So if you're interested in doing that, come visit Shrewsbury. Yes. Um, get to meet Ebenezer Scrooge. Well, it's stone. Yeah, well, it's stone. <laughs> but yeah, awesome time. Um, Shrewsbury itself is a lovely town. Beautiful um, town. As you've seen, you go down the alleyways and things like that, the shops yeah. and cafes and everything down them. Yeah, it's great. So come and pay him a visit. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say hello to Ebenezer. Yeah. So thanks for watching. If you're new, give us a thumbs up maybe. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Yeah. Please, we're so close to 3,000. Yeah, come on, we can do it. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 And remember, leave a comment. Yeah. Because write the comments. And I answer them personally. Yes, he does. I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so we'll see you guys in the next vlog, whatever that's going to be. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll see you later guys. <laughs> Bye, Bye for now. <laughs> ta -ra.